My name is Kaylee Jones and this is my fourth year of teaching. Uh, my first year of teaching was in middle school science and then I taught a year of high school and now I teach at the Olentangy STEM Academy, freshman physical science. I chose to start operating a flipped classroom two years ago because I felt my students weren't learning from the lectures I was giving and so I wanted to create an opportunity for students to learn at their own pace. I chose to start recording my lectures using a screencasting and I post them online and so my students are now responsible for watching those lectures at home and the best part about them is that they can rewind, fast forward and pause. So the lessons are completely me so that way I know exactly what they learned over the weekend. This year I've been able to use Edpuzzle to embed assessments in them as well so I can monitor how well they're learning before they enter the classroom. So students are responsible for watching the video at home. That's their new homework. And when they come in on Monday, any of the traditional homework we might have done on a worksheet, we do in class. So basically what used to be homework is now in my class and what used to be in my class is now homework. On Mondays, we do about a 15 minute review. Then from there, we usually jump right into the lab. If I notice a student struggling using that embedded assessment, I will pull them up front and that gives me time to work while the other students are not held back and continue working on the lab. The lab activities are very real world applicable and very hands on. So when we teach the Big Bang Theory, we have them actually design a universe and then looking at the data and analyzing it, all key skills that science students really need in order to be successful. This week, we're learning about the Big Bang Theory and we're learning about how expansion works and how things further away expand faster, which is kind of a hard topic for students to understand. But if they see it, it better sets into their memory and they can understand it. So today they were designing their own galaxies and measuring the expansion rates. In the lab, they have a small report that they need to write where they record their data and analyze it. And I usually ask them a couple analysis questions. They do work in partners so that they have someone to bounce ideas off of. And we have a rule that they never know which partner I'm going to grade, so that way both have to be held responsible for the content. So usually through the hypothesis and data and analysis, they work themselves through the lesson. I would suggest if you want to start a flipped classroom to start small. Just pick one lesson, don't pick a whole unit. Uh, it takes a while to get a hold of making your own videos and what you want your notes to look like and things like that. So pick one lesson that you're very confident in and practice making your own video. I know the flipped classroom works for my students because through assessments I've seen their grades improve and I've seen student engagement improve. I think more time for labs and more time for hands-on activities really benefits the students. And usually there's about a one to two week adjustment period and then from there they're just ready to go and ready to learn. We take one day a week to work on our problem set, so they each grab a computer and they work on that independently at their own pace, but I'm available, so if they don't understand a homework question, someone's there to help them. I have five major types of questions that I ask them each week. Or they use a Google form, which is a free form of technology, and the students take a first attempt at answering a question. Then when they click the button, they see an immediate answer and they can judge whether they got it right or not. So that way every student gets the amount of problems that they need to get it right. And all of that happens through the Google form and it's predetermined for them.